So we have a pretty quick product introduction for you today. This is the Zebra Clean Dough. And some of you might remember the old, pretty sure, long discontinued, thinner air fit model of pen that actually had this same profile, only this grip right here was like a soft silicone grip. So for those of you who remember that, this is really the same profile, only you're getting a different kind of special grip. So this grip is a, this metal grip is a copper alloy. So, you know, meaning it has copper as one of its principal components. It's kind of like bronze or what would be another one? Brass. But the idea here is that copper helps to repel or kill bacteria and viruses. So this grip is, according to the manufacturer, I am not a scientist, <laughs> antibacterial and antiviral. And it, so it was designed to be used in hospital settings, doctor's offices, any kind of company where you're sharing pens or maybe places where you have pens put out, you know, for your customers to sign things. So that's the idea that it um, can help, um, you know, slow down <laughs> the spread of germs. So the other thing that's, you know, notable about copper alloy is that it would be you know, corrosion resistant. So your grip should, you know, stay nice over time. It is a really interesting color. It's kind of a gold silver is the best way I can describe it. On the, let me open the black one for you too. Because the kind of copper lettering on the clip part, is quite pretty. And then you can see, I hope you can see here, the kind of subtle difference between this silver on your nose versus the grip, which has a little more of, you know, some coppery color in the silver. So it's really kind of a copper silver. So this pen is a 0.7 millimeter ballpoint pen using the Sudati ink, which is an emulsion ink, so it's really smooth. So like, for example, this week I've been using this pen with my Jibun Techo and it is really smooth on the Jibun Techo and this is a nice, um, Kokuyo Sufa notebook, which has really great, nice, smooth Japanese paper. And so it is, of course, really nice on there too. It just glides. So it's a quite nice ink. Of course, it's refillable. Unscrew here, and then you just replace the refill. The refills are the CEK refill, which I believe also filled that previous bodied air fit. Hopefully some of you remember the pen I'm talking about because there's also the fatter air fit, so not to confuse anyone. <laughs> but yeah, so you know I did a little bit of reading on the topic of copper alloy being antibacterial and antiviral and it actually seems like it's real science i i you know kind of want to double check and see if it was a bullshit or not and it does seem like some sound science to me with some legit sources so you know but again i'm not a scientist so <laughs> they they provide some uh, fancy graphs on zebra's website about this product and I can't understand what I'm looking at, so there you go. If any of you out there are scientists, 
who wants to, you know, educate us in the comments below, please do feel free. I'd love it. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I would want to tell you about this pen. Aside from really thinking it is quite nice looking and that I, I, you know, I think it'll be really fun to give to my aunt who works in a dental office. You know, I think it'd be kind of like a fun gift. Uh, if you're a teacher and you have, you know, kids grabbing your pen on your desk all the time at work, you might want to decoy clean dough pen for them to grab. <laughs> Hopefully it will help <laughs> help slow the spread of germs in your work environment or in your friend's work environment. But yeah, it just seems like a fun, a fun little pen that happens to be quite attractive as well. If you have any questions, please leave them below as always, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.